My research focuses on the health and well-being of child, adolescent, and young adult cancer survivors. Our team creates programs to help young people and their families cope with a cancer diagnosis and treatment. We also develop programs to help long-term survivors get the survivorship care they need and lead healthier lives. Our programs focusing on teens and young adults use websites or mobile apps to make it easier for our survivors to have these tools at their fingertips. It is important because although treatment advances have led to improved cure rates, many child, adolescent, and young adult survivors will go on to have negative mental or physical health effects due to their cancer treatment. Our goal is to improve their quality of life and how we care for these survivors and their families. Recently, there has been increased attention to adolescent and young adult survivors who are a unique group in that they must manage the challenges of cancer care during a time when they're going through lots of normal life changes, graduating high school, going to college, starting careers, living on their own, starting families of their own. Cancer treatment at this time can delay all these important life milestones. Our team is currently testing a coping skills program called Bright Ideas to help these young people overcome the challenges they face and stay on track with their goals. Through our work and that of others, I believe we will see improvements in the quality of life and care for this group in the near future. As technology has become a larger part of our everyday lives, we have increasingly used technology to help deliver our programs to young cancer survivors. Two of our recent studies showed that adolescent and young adult survivors of pediatric cancer find online and app-based programs easy to use and helpful, especially as our young survivors tend to move away from the cancer center where they got treatment. Technology allows us to connect with them in new ways. We made a program called Fit Survivor that used wearable activity trackers and a mobile app to give feedback to survivors about how active they are so they could set realistic goals to improve. In a different project, we designed an online course called Managing Your Health that empowered young adult survivors to take more responsibility for their survivorship care. As part of that program, we use video conferencing and text messaging to connect survivors with peer mentors who know what it's like and can offer unique support in making positive health changes. Our future work aims to connect electronic health records with our patient tools so that survivors can better manage their own care and make healthy lifestyle choices. I am proud to work at New Jersey's only NCI-designated Comprehensive Cancer Center. For our research to make a difference in patients' lives, it's really important that we work as a team with all different areas of expertise coming together to tackle complex problems. Working in the same space as our clinical care and basic science research helps us better understand the challenges important to patient care and move our science more quickly into practice. The best part about working at the Rutgers Cancer Institute of New Jersey is the people. Every day I work with brilliant colleagues dedicated to improving the lives of children, adolescents, and young adults with cancer. No matter what their role, everyone is working together under a single mission to make a difference. That makes it a great place to work.